Hey guys, we tell a very famous story called the story of two wolves in our certifications. Now, when we have our kids, and let's say one of them is behaving, and one of his, uh, let's say his name is Timmy, and Tim is acting out, and I say, Tim, stop doing that. You know, Tim, if you do that again, you know, you're going to be in big trouble. That's number three, Tim. So let, and you know, and then we have a girl next to him, Karen, who, who was, uh, you know, behaving the whole time, but Tim is misbehaving and he's getting his attention. Now he's thriving off of this. He doesn't really care what kind of attention he gets. He just cares that you're paying attention to him because it seems that you care about him. And Karen feels like the only way she can get attention if she starts to act out too. So what happens is you fed the, the, good, you fed the bad wolf and now the good wolf, she only sees that the way she can actually get your attention is she starts misbehaving. So how do we change that? Well, we use something called proximity praising. Timmy is misbehaving. So what I do is I go, Karen, I'm so proud of you. You're being such a good listener. I'm really, I think you're doing awesome. Give me a high five, excellent job, right? And then, you know, Timmy's misbehaving again. So I go and I skip Timmy and I go next to Timmy and I see Lyles. I go, Lyles, you're doing an even better job. I love it. You're so standing so tall and so confident, so proud. And what I just do is I feed the wolves next to Timmy and these wolves become strong, my good wolves. And my bad wolf starts to wean. This is Coach Graf. Feed the good wolf and proximity praise.